hey guys welcome to ss unitech social this side and today we are going to see about the git configuration in the azure data factory so what is the git configuration and why it is required inside the azure data factory we'll see in this video git configuration will provide a better authoring experience and azure data factory allow you to configure a git repository with either azure devops or the github so we can say like these two service providers are available by which we can set up the git configuration either by using the azure devops or by using the github git is the version control system and it will allow for easier change tracking and collaboration so these are the major advantages of using the git configuration next why we are required to have the git repository in our azure data factory so this is because the data factory service does not include the repository for storing json entity for your changes so like if we are making the changes that is not going to store that is only publish the only way to save the changes by using the publish all button that we have already seen in the azure data factory tutorial videos earlier and all changes are published directly to the data factory service so they are going to directly publish in the data factory service and there we don't have any control by using publish all we can directly publish all those next is the data factory service is not optimized for collaboration and version control next is the azure resource manager template requires to deploy data factory itself is not included so these are the major things which is not available inside the azure data factory service so that's why we are required to have the git in your azure data factory now what is the advantage of using the git repository in our azure data factory so here are the major advantages first is the source control so what is the source control so as per the data factory workloads become crucial you would want to integrate your factory with the git to leverage several source control benefits like ability to track and audit the changes or you can ability to revert the changes that introduce bug so that option is available inside the git integration next is the partial save so as we have already seen we don't have the option to save your pipelines let me quickly go inside the azure data factory let me try to open any one of the data factory pipeline so this pipeline so here we can see the option for validate all and publish all here we don't have any option by which we can partially save this pipeline for example if i am making some changes in between i don't want to continue right now i wish to continue that pipeline after some time so by using the git configuration we can partially save that pipeline so we can start working whenever we want to work next is the collaboration and control so basically if you have multiple team members contributing to the same data factory you may want to let your team member collaborate with each other via a code review process so that code review process we can build inside the git integration and here we can also divide the permission for example few members will have the permission to directly publish and few member will be coming through the git next is the better ci cd so we have not discussed about the ci cd now so we'll be going to see ci cd in the upcoming videos so this is the process for the continuation continue integration and continue deployment so here we can very easily to do that because if you are going to deploy into the multiple environments by using ci cd so git will make so git will take care for that very easily next is the better performance so if we are talking about the performance so as per the microsoft it's 10 times faster than the adf service so 10 times it is very huge amount we can say so these are the major advantages of using the git configuration in our system next let me go here here we can see the data factory so under this data factory if you can click on this here we can see the option to set up the code repository if we can go in the home tab under this home here we can see the option to set up the code code repository 
so either way we can choose and we'll be going to set up the code repository here so how we can set up the code repository that we will see in our next video thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video